Hey guys, welcome to my video. It's that time again where we have an add-on or an edit sale and I go in, look at every single product, search the world wide web, type until my fingers can type no more and get that information back to you so that you can make some decisions and edit your cart. An add-on sale is just what it sounds like, something you add on to your FabFitFun box. So this is the spring add-on sale and what you purchase will be added to your spring 2020 box, but you do pay for this. It does not come with your box. The add-on sale right now is currently open for select members. That means you pay annually all four boxes, one payment, and it's open from February 1st until February 5th. What you have in your cart at the end of February 5th will be charged to your cart on file, and then it will ship when your box ships. All Access members have their own add-on sale window, and that is from February 14th through the 18th. Everything that is in the cart on the 18th will be billed to your cart on file, and it will ship with your box. You do not need to purchase anything in an add-on sale. It's completely up to you. It could cost you zero dollars for zero items. However, FabFitFun does offer very discounted prices, 50% off, up to 70% off. So there's a lot of great deals in an add-on sale. This video is created to help you navigate those deals. Video one is going to be A through K, and video two is going to be L through Z. I decided to divide it into two videos because these videos get pretty long and you can lose people part way through. Everything is going to be in alphabetical order, so if you are searching for something specific, you should be able to find it by scrolling through until you get to the right part of the alphabet. I basically did a search of all the prices across different sites to try to see if FabFitFun is the lowest price or what the lowest price is online. I also searched through reviews. If more than like five or six people said the same thing in reviews, I usually mention it in the video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. This is part one. If you want to see part two, make sure that you're subscribed and that you hit that little bell so that it notifies you on your phone whenever the video is posted. I'm going to try to read everything as fast as I possibly can. I know these videos get really, really long, so let's just get into it. The first company is 111 Skin. This is one of my favorite skincare companies, so I know if you watch my videos, you already know that, but if you're new, it's one of my favorites. The first one they have is the 111 Skin Vitamin C Brightening Booster. And the lowest price I found online was for $105 from selfridges.com. This has a 4.2 star rating with 17 reviewers. A lot of the positives said it improves skin tone, it's easy to use, it's not sticky, they didn't find a skin reaction. And some of the negatives were this change was not significant enough or it's not worth the price tag. And the type of vitamin C used is less potent than the one that's typically used, which is ascorbic acid, but this is more stable and a lot more gentle. So if you have used vitamin C in the past and it has had a reaction, you might want to try this if you have sensitive skin to vitamin C because it's less likely to produce a reaction. The next item is the 111 Skin Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Masks, one of my personal favorites. This had a 135 retail value, so I don't know where FabFitFun is getting the prices, but for the next three items, I found for 135 retail across multiple sites, not just one site. It has a 4.2 star rating with 143 reviewers. People like that it had immediate results, you can see a difference with one or two masks, and that it gives you glowy skin. The thing that people didn't like is that the shape is not really face shaped and I can attest to that it just doesn't fit on your face like perfectly well it's a little bit large and they didn't like the price they didn't like that the mask is delicate so it can tear it's a gel mask so it can tear during application the next mask is the 111 skin biocellulose facial treatment masks this one had 4.3 stars with 49 reviews a lot of people said this one fits well, it uses biocellulose paper rather than gel, it's hydrating and it's soothing. But a lot of people said also in the negatives that it's not good for the price tag and it's time consuming. So when you use a biocellulose mask, you wait for it to absorb into your face, the mask turns into just paper, so basically all of the water, all the liquid is gone, and that does take some time. The last one-on-one -on -one skin item is the three-phase anti-blemish booster. Again, this one was 135 in all of the stores. It's 4.8 star rating with 18 reviews. All of them are five star reviews except for one reviewer. The next company is Ahava, and the first item is the Ahava Mineral Bath Salt and Calming Lavender. 
The lowest, lowest price is $15.40 at Ulta Beauty. It has 4 point star rating with 191 reviews. Most of the negative reviews say that the scent changed and is no longer lavender but more chemically. But these reviews are all between 2018 and early 2019 and there have been a lot of positive reviews since then so it might have just been an issue with one batch. The next one is the Ahava Mineral Mud Clearing Face Mask. The lowest price is $20 at Ulta Beauty. This has 4.5 stars with 250 reviews. The positives say it clears your pores and it works in just 10 minutes. The negatives were mentioning that it tingles or burns in their review, but there are very few of those, so it might just be worth noting if you have sensitive. The next is the Ahava Cellulite Control Shaper. The lowest price I found was $42 at Ulta Beauty. It has a 4.1 star rating with 47 reviews. Many reviewers say they saw a difference in smoothness and cellulite reduction. The negatives are the citrus scent and the time it takes to apply. The next item is the Ahava Sea Kiss Hand Cream Trio. I couldn't find this exact trio, but I did find a large single 3.4 ounce, and that had a 4.8 star rating with 391 reviews. 4 to 5 stars and they say that it works. The few negatives that I did find were mostly about the scent. The next company is AG Hair, and this had the AG Hair Recoil Curl Activator. The lowest price I found it for was $13.85 at Fragrance Net. It has a 4.4 star rating with 446 reviews. The positives say that it needs application when hair is soaking wet. And it also notes that you need to use very little in the application. The negative reviews say that it causes dryness, crunchy, sticky, or waxy hair. However, most of the positive reviews were addressing that, saying they think that those reviewers were using it wrong. The next company is Alginus. The first is Alginus Elevate Firming and Lifting Neck Cream. I only found this for retail and there was less than 10 reviews. The next is Alginus Elevate Advanced Retinol Serum. The lowest price was $72.50 at beautyexpert.com. It has a 4.3 star rating with 789 reviews. The positives say it works, it's gentle, overall stellar reviews on skin texture, reduction of fine lines over time. The negative reviews are about packaging, the bottle, a few mentioned that it causes acne or oily skin. And the next item is the Elginus Genius Sleeping Collagen Cream. I only found this at retail, it has a 4.6 star rating with 1,374 reviews. You only need a small amount and it's extremely moisturizing and a lot of the positive reviews were from dry skin users. The negative reviews, most of them said they had oily skin or combination skin, some of them said that it broke them out, some of them said that it broke them out at first but then it went away over time and now they like it so there was a lot of mixed reviews there but I think it's mostly for dry skin. The next is Alginus Genius Liquid Collagen Lip Treatment, it's $32 at lookfantastic.us. It has a 3.2 star rating with 79 reviews, and it's pretty much 50-50. 50% say it works, 50% say they didn't see any difference. The next company is Amope, and this is the Amope Petty Perfect Electronic Nail File. I found this for a lower price. It was $6.19 on Amazon.com, and I will link that below in the description. This had a 4 star rating with 598 reviews. A lot of the positive reviews say it's good for buffing nails. And then a lot of the negative reviews said it's low power and it wasn't good for filing nails. So if you're just looking to buff your nails, completely different than if you're trying to completely file them down. The next company is Anne Marie Skincare Wild Fruit Serum. This is $114 as the lowest price online and it's from searchwellness.com. It has a 4.7 star rating with 232 reviews. The good reviews say it's good for hydration, they had fewer clogged pores, fewer extractions, or clearer skin. The negative reviews, some said they experienced allergic reactions to it, some said they experienced breakouts. This does have several organic and wild plant and herbal ingredients. The next company is Avery Beauty, and this is the Shea Butter Gloves and Socks. I could not find this exact set, and other sets had less than 10 reviews. The next company is Bambooey Premier Plush Series Queen Pillow. The lowest price I found was $17.92 on Walmart.com and I will link that in the description. It has a 3.7 star rating with 24 reviews. I think it was mostly based on preference. Some people were like, I really love how firm this is. Some people were like, it's too, it holds my head up too high. So I think it's about how much you love firmness in your pillow. The next company is The Beauty Crop. And the first is the Beauty Crop Crop Lighting Crew Highlighting Cream. I only found this at retail unless if you're looking at resellers like eBay, Poshmark, all of that. This has a 4.2 star rating with 63 reviews. The positive reviews say a little goes a long way and it works well with foundation mixed into it. 
The next item is the Beauty Crop Wing Woman Liquid Eyeliner. I only found this for retail as well, except for like Poshmark. It has less than 10 reviews. And that's the same with the Beauty Crop Fabulous Flocking Lashes Mascara and the Beauty Crop Travel Tea. I only found those for retail unless you were looking at resellers and less than 10 reviews. The next company is Beauty Guard. This is an oil-free liquid eyeliner. I found this for $20.21 at Zabiva.com. It has four stars with 24 reviews. A lot of people said that it was positive because it's oil-free, so it's good if you have lash extensions. But some of the people said that it's hard to apply, it's slippery, and the applicator tip is too soft. The next company is Becca Cosmetics. Becca Cosmetics Skin Love Glaze Stick. I only found that one for retail. It's 4.2 star with 338 reviewers. The positive reviews say it's soft glow, it's sparkle free, so it's more of a natural glow. The negative reviews say it's hard to apply directly from the stick and it doesn't work well with some foundations. So you have to be careful depending on what foundation you're using. The second item is the Becca Shimmering Liquid Highlighter. I only found this one for retail as well. This one had 4.6 star rating with 6,186 reviewers. A lot of people like that it's not too glittery, it's more of a natural shimmer, but the negative reviews that I saw was the perfumey scent of the product. The next company is Bio Elements, and the product is Barrier Fix Daily Hydrator. I only found it for retail, I only found reviews on their site, but it did have a 5 star rating with 14 reviews. I'm just kind of leery when I only find reviews on one site and it's the company, because those can be manipulated by the company. The next company is Bio's Apothecary. All of these I only found for their retail price unless you were looking at a reseller and all of them had less than 10 reviews or no reviews. The next company is the Body Comfort Ultimate Comfort Reusable Heat Pack Set. The lowest price was on Amazon, $49.99 for the white one, $52.99 for the purple one. It's 3.7 star rating with 255 reviews. So the positives say that it works well, that it heats up. The negatives say reheating it is time consuming and it also has a strong plasticky smell. The next company is Campo. This is the Flight Essential Oil Roll-On. I do own this product. I only found it for the retail. There's less than 10 reviews. It is 100% pure essential oils. So some people do actually try to avoid essential oils, but some people really love when there's pure, like, quality grade oils. The next company is Celepiderm, and this is the Daily Green Protecting Cleansing Water. I only found this for retail. Less than 10 reviews. The next company is Celtrion, and this is the Celtrion Active Spot. I only found it for retail and there were no reviews. And the Celtrion Ultimate Light Cream Set, again, only for retail and no reviews. The cream set does contain silicones. The next company is Ciate, Ciate London Glitter Storm. I only found this for retail. It has a 4.5 star rating with 61 reviews. The next item is the Ciate London Glitter Flip Duo. This one is currently on sale. You could buy two for $12, like total $12, right on Ciate's website. I will link that below down in the description. And you could pick the exact colors you want versus FabFitFun. I think it comes with the two colors that they have. This has a 4.1 star rating, 2,174 reviews. The next company is Surcell. This is the ABO Face Serum. I found it for $87.50 at lovelyskin.com as the lowest price. It has a 4.8 star rating with 15 reviews. The next company is Cocoa Floss. There's Cocoa Floss Orange and Delicious Mint. Both of them were only found for retail. Total Cocoa Floss has a 4.4 star rating with 512 reviewers. A lot more positive than negative, but it seems to be personal preference because it is a different feeling than typical floss. The next company is Kula. This is the Classic Body Sunscreen in SPF 30. This is unscented. And this I only found for retail. It has a 4.5 star rating with 1,312 reviews. A lot of people like that it's non-greasy and that it's reef safe. But some people listed that it did not work as a sun protectant or it didn't last long enough so they were having to reapply often. The next company is Silo. The Silo wireless charging pad, the Silo's marble power bank and cable, I did not find anything. But for the Silo Jet Seller Tech Junkie Kit, it is a $9.97 at Nordstrom Rack and it has less than 10 reviews. The next company is Daily Concepts. For the Daily Concepts Your Conjac Sponge in Turmeric, I found it for $12 at walmart.com as the lowest price and has a 4.4 star rating with 10 reviewers. For the Multifunction Mother of Pearl Soap Sponge, I found that one for $5 at ultabeauty.com. It seems to be the same size. I've said this before with the winter edit sale and that one had less than 10 reviews. 
And then for the Daily Concepts, Your Dual Texture Scrubber. I only found that for retail. It has less than 10 reviews. But the next company is Design Me. The Design Me Puff Me Shampoo and Conditioner. I did not find that as a duo. I did find them separately, but either way, they both had less than 10 reviews. And the Design Me Multi-Level Benefit Leave-In Conditioner. I only found that for retail. It's 4.6 star rating with 36 reviews. For the Design Me Gloss Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Hair Serum, I only found that for retail, and that was less than 10 reviews. The next company is Dermalect. For the Dermalect Revitalize Extra Large Lash Volumizer, I only found that for retail, less than 10 reviews. Dermalect Camo Nude Ridge Filler, I found that for $16 at Ulta Beauty, that's the lowest price, 4.7 star rating, 131 reviews. The positives say that it dries fast and it's good at increasing nail strength over time. The next company is DP Hue. This is the Color Fresh Shampoo and Conditioner. I did not find it as a set, but I did find them for $26 individually, which would make the retail price accurate. And the shampoo I found ratings for it had a four star rating with 143 reviewers. A lot of people said that it works really well as a purple shampoo, but some of the negative reviews said that the smell, they didn't appreciate the smell or that it might be drying. The next company is DPL and for the first product DPL LED pain relieving eye mask, it is lowest price of $69.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond's website. Also, they always have discounts at Bed Bath & Beyond like 20% off so you can account for that as well and that one had less than 10 reviews for the dp oral care it was 99 dollars retail at fsa store and at gelandproducts.com so two stores that show that that's the retail price and that has less than 10 reviews as well the next company is dr brandt for dr brandt skincare hyaluronic facial cream the lowest price is 50 dollars and 40 cents at lovethyskin.com it is a 4.3 star rating with 20 reviews the positive reviews say that it's plumping but there are about four or five reviewers that said it's not for dry skin, it causes your skin to flake or causes more drying. This does have silicones, olive oil, lavender oil, several acids, including salicylic acid. Those could all be causing some drying. The next product is the Dr. Brandt Skincare Bright Biotic Dark Spot Minimizing Serum. This I found for $46.75 as the lowest price at lovelyskin.com. It is a 4.1 star rating with 37 reviews. Overall positive, they say that it works, it helps with hyperpigmentation. There were three to four reviews that mentioned it causes them to break out and that it did not work for their skin. Those reviewers said that they normally have oily skin or sensitive skin. This does contain coconut oil, silicone, so those are some items that actually do cause some people to break out. The Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. I only found that for retail. It's a 4.3 star rating with 6,644 reviews. The positive says that it works best for oily skin. A few of them said that it causes breakouts for them. This again is silicone based, it has multiple silicones. The next company is Dr. Dennis Gross for Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare Clinical Grader Surfacing Liquid Peel. I only found that for retail. It has a 4.6 star rating, 1,271 reviews. This has rave reviews actually. It says that it works, that you can see results almost overnight. Some of the ingredients in there that you might be avoiding, witch hazel, there's several acids, like 16 different acids, including citric acid and salicylic acid. It has pineapple enzymes, it has a lot of citrus extracts, it has copper PCA and zinc PCA, it has coconut oil, jasmine flower extract, lavender extract. If you have any allergy at all, make sure you're reading every single ingredient on this product. The second item is the Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare DRX Spelletrolite. I don't even know how you say it. I Care Pro. It retails for $159, not $169. I found it everywhere for retail at $159. It has a 4.3 star rating with 47 reviewers. There are positive reviews that were saying that it really works for wrinkles. One reviewer said that they tried to do it for dark circles and that it claims to work for wrinkles and dark circles and they saw an improvement in their wrinkles but nothing for their dark circles. The next company is EIRNYC. This is the body oil, heated massage oil, recovery kit, and wellness kit. I found all of them, but only for retail, and on all of them, less than 10 reviews. The next company is Alamis. This is the Alamis Head to Toe Essentials Frangi Panny Monoi Body Duo. That was a very difficult to say, but hopefully I did it right. It, I could not find this as a set, only as individual items. They do have a 4.4 star rating with 158 reviews. It says it's luxurious, it's moisturizing. The only issue is you have to warm it to melt it, and that was for the oil. The next item is the Elemis Superfood Skincare Day and Night Duo. I only found that for retail. It has less than 10 reviews. The next item is the Elemis Skin Wellness Essential Peptide 24-7 Duo. I couldn't find that as a set either, only as individual items, so I feel like Fabbit Fun is just making these into sets. 
It has less than 10 reviews and the mask, the Elemis A Splash of Youth Pro Collagen Anti-Aging Travel Trio. I could not find this as a set, only as individual items. Again, less than 10 reviews. With this brand, you might want to just go check out those ingredients yourself if you have any allergies. The next company is Eleven by Venus. Both items, I could not even find it on the Eleven by Venus website, so they might just be outdated. Nothing was found for either product. The next company is Easy for Dream Easy, the Dream Easy 12 pack. I found it for $20 on Amazon.com. It has a four star rating with 21 reviews, and the reviewers do say that it helps them get to sleep. The Over Easy 12 pack is $30 on Amazon. It has a 4.2 star rating with 95 reviewers, and the majority of reviewers say that it's effective for hangovers. The next company is For Real Wellness. For the basic toner, I only found that for retail. It has a five star rating, 61 reviewers, but I only found them on the company's website. So I'm always a little bit leery if it's only the company's website because those reviews can be manipulated. And then for the Wellness Awaken, again, only found for retail. This has a 4.7 star rating with 319 reviews. Again, also only on the company's website. So the next company is Foxy Bay. The first one is the Foxy Bay White Marble Rose Gold Flat Iron. This is $45 on Amazon.com. I'm going to link that even though technically Fat Fun still has the lowest price just because with an item like this, you might want to return it. And having that option is available if you buy it and spend the extra $6 on Amazon rather than get it through FabFitFun and then you have no chance of returning it. This is a 4.4 star rating with 308 reviewers. There's a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of the negatives are about either receiving a damaged item or something's wrong with the product later and then poor customer service for fixing those issues. For Foxy Bay White Marble Rose Gold 25 Wand, this one is available $36.19 at walmart.com. I will link that down below. And it has a 4.2 star rating with 13 reviews. For the Foxy Bay Don't Hate Hydrate Hair Mask, it has a 4.3 star rating, 10 reviews, says it's easy to use, reduce dryness, and frizz. The next company is Fresh E Buds. This is the Fresh E Buds Ultra in Carbon Black. I found this for $29.95 at Amazon.com, which is lower than the FabFitFun price, and I will link that down below. It has a 2.4 star rating with 22 reviews. So. It has a lot of negative reviews. The negative reviews are about it falling apart after a couple months or not charging correctly or not charging at all, having a lot of technical issues. The next company is GABA Goods. For the GABA Goods hanging Bluetooth shower speaker, I could not find this exact one. They had several, but I could not find this one. For the GABA Goods Neckbeats Elites 2.0 Bluetooth headset, I found this for $15 on Amazon's site, but it's a different color. I'm gonna link it down below just in case, but it is a different color than the one you're seeing here. This has a 2.3 star rating with 21 reviews. Most of the negatives are about how short the battery life is, but there are also some neg negatives about the microphone quality and using it on a phone call and not being understood. The next item is the Gabba Goods Wireless Bluetooth Cat Speaker. This is available for $14.97 as the lowest price at NordstromRack.com, and it has less than 10 reviews. And the next one is the G Home Smart Camera. I only found that for retail. Then the Gabba Goods Metallics Three Piece Gift Set. I found this for $27.99. It's for the gold version, not the black version that you see here. And that one is on Groupon.com. I will link it down below because it is a lower price, but again, you're getting a different color. This has 4.3 star ratings though, with 415 reviewers. The next company is Gaia Organic, and for the Gaia Organic Balm Superior, I found that only for retail, less than 10 reviews. And the next item is the Gaia Organic Exfoliating Superior. I only found that for retail. This had a five star review, 11 reviewers. Again, this is on the company's website, so I could not find reviews on a different website other than the company's website. The next company is Gaia for the Lemon Souffle Bath Gel and Body Souffle Duo. I did not find it as a duo. I did find it as individual items for retail only, and both of them had less than 10 reviews. The next company is Grown Alchemist for the Grown Alchemist Body Cleanser Chamomile Bergamot Rose. I only found that for retail. 4.8 star rating, 30 reviews. All of them are five star reviews except for one four star reviewer. The Grown Alchemist Blemish Treatment Gel, I only found it for retail and no reviews. The Matte Balancing Moisturizer, only found it for retail, but 4.5 stars with 17 reviews. Overall positive reviews, it has a non-greasy feel. For the Upgrown Alchemist Cleansing Mask Wheat Germ Ginkgo Gr Cranberry, that one is only available retail, 4.4 stars across all three sites. There were a lot of reviews in other languages, so I couldn't read them all, and I couldn't find any common trends. The next 
next item is the Grown Alchemist Body Cream in Mandarin and Rosemary Leaf. I only found this for retail. It has a 4 points to 4 star rating with 59 reviewers. This has a lot of mixed reviews, especially about the scent. The next item is the Hand Cream with Vanilla and Orange Peel. I only found it for retail. It has 4.6 star rating, 79 reviews. Everything that I read was pretty positive. And the last item here is the Grown Alchemist Brightening Serum Phyto Complex. I only found that for retail. 4.6 star rating, 64 reviewers. It says it's really good for toning skin. It's light. The only complaint that I found really was that the bottle didn't last very long. Like it only lasted a couple months. The next company is Hand Skin, the Hyaluronic Skin Essence. I found this for $19.26 at bestbeautytip.com. This has a 4.6 star rating with 315 reviews. The positives say that it's moisturizing. The few negatives said that their skin caused it to break out. The next company is Her Minerals for the 24K Gold Eye Mask Duo. I only found this for retail or on resellers like Poshmark. It has a 4 star rating with 16,555 reviews. The next company I think is Huang Jisu Cleansing Duo. I am so sorry if I butchered that. I could not find this as a set. Less than 10 reviews on each item. The next company is Hydro Peptide for the Nourishing Glow Shimmering Body Oil. I found this for $46.80 at dermstore.com. It has no reviews. For the Collagel Eye Masks, it's $38.40 at skinstore.com. Lowest price available. Less than 10 reviews. For the Nimni Day Cream, lowest price, $88 at skinstore.com. Less than 10 reviews again. For the Nimni Face Cream, this one is retail only, and it's 4.9 star rating with 14 reviewers. A lot of positive reviews. Couldn't find anything really negative or any trends. The next company is Ilia. It's the multi-stick. There's two multi-sticks, one in Atlas and one in Ladybird. They're both about the same. Only found for retail, 4.5 star rating with 455 reviews, pretty much positive. For the True Skin Radiance Priming Serum, I only found that one for retail. It has a 4.4 star rating with 127 reviews. A lot of people like that it's a clean primer. So if you don't know what a clean ingredient is, it's free of a lot of things that we try to avoid like parabens, sulfates, formaldehydes, mineral oil, synthetic fragrances. So one of the things about fragrances is that you don't have to disclose what's in your fragrance and sometimes there are common allergens in there or there are irritants in there and the company does not have to disclose that. They just have to write the word fragrance which is one of the reasons why people avoid it. Literally like the list goes on and on. So to get that clean certification you have to be free of all of those things. So a lot of people do like this primer because it is free of all of those things. Most of the positive reviews are about that. There are negative reviews. The negative reviews say it doesn't work with every foundation. It causes some of those foundations to pill. It causes some peeling, depending on what you're using. So a lot of those types of things kept coming up. The next company is Image Skincare. For Image Skincare, the Eye Mask Anti-Aging Hydrogel Sheet Mask. I found this for $33 on Walmart. It has no reviews. For the Hydrating Hydrogel Sheet Masks, this one is $28 lowest price at La La Daisy, no reviews. The next brand I completely skipped because it is an in-house brand. It's very hard to find information on it. The next brand is Jose A. Bear for the Jose A. Bear Direct Air Dryer. I only found that one for retail and it does not have any reviews. For the two flat irons, they're not even on the site anymore, like the actual company site anymore. They have new ones that have a different look. So I have a feeling that it's just that they upgraded their look and that these are like the outdated ones. The next company is the Hoya Mia. This is a curling iron with three barrels. I found this one for $139 at Bed Bath & Beyond. You also can use those 20% coupons there. No reviews. The Curling Iron with 8 Barrels, also at Bed Bath & Beyond. This one's for $1.99, and again, you could probably use a coupon for that. I did not find anything for the Quick Dry LED Nail Dryer. The next company is Juice Beauty. One thing I want to mention with Juice Beauty is they use a lot, a lot of fruit, plant, extracts, all kinds of that kind of stuff. Um, if you have any allergen to any type of nut, fruit, or plant, you just want to be really careful with companies like this. The first one is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Overnight Cream. I only found this for retails, 4.3 star rating, 149 reviews, mostly positive about it being moisturizing, but a few mentioned a rash or reaction to this product. For their Stem Cellular Exfoliating Peel Spray, I only found that for retails, 4.3 star rating, 356 reviews. Again, mostly positive, 
Very few reviewers, but some did say they had a bad reaction to it. The next item is the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. I only found that for retail. This one's four stars. It's actually the like lowest rated of all the Juice Beauty items, and it has 419 reviews. The negative reviews that I found, I found actually about three or four of them that said that instead of making their wrinkles look better, they feel like it intensified them. But there was a lot of people that said it worked too, so I don't know. That one, I guess, use at your own risk. And the next one is the USDA Organic Treatment Oil. This one, the lowest price I found it was $35.70 at Pharmaca.com as a 4.7 star rating with 160 reviews. A lot of people said it was great for dry skin. They said it, like, it has a lot of stellar reviews actually. The next is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel Sensitive Exfoliating Mask. I only found this for retail. It has a 4.1 star rating, 1,130 reviews. The negative reviews that I found were mostly about the smell or the price of the product. The next company is Karuna. This is the exfoliating foot mask pack. I only found a four pack. I could not find a five pack literally anywhere. So I think it has new packaging um, and the four pack is $38. The last company for this particular video is Kosas. The Kosas powder color and light palette. It has a 4.6 star rating with 111 Positive reviews are more about the peachy blush than the highlighter. Like a lot of people said they loved the blush. Then the Kosas Cream Color and Light Palette is a 4.7 star rating with 218 reviews. A lot of people said that it's natural looking, a little goes a long way, it's going to last you a long time. There were a few that actually said that they have tried both the powder palette and this cream palette and they prefer the cream. I actually thought about this in the middle. I also wanted to mention that you will, there are some items you will not see in both of the videos. I do not review anything that is a fashion item because that is literally all preference. Like what you wear is all preference, like headbands, jewelry, clothing, all of that. And I don't do anything on home items. Again, the way you decorate your home is very personal preference. So I don't look up reviews on that because some people just, don't like the thing. It literally is all personal preference. So I don't really waste my time looking at reviews on those. If you think it's cute, go and buy it. So I decided to put these at the end of the video. These are the items that I did not cover. I decided not to cover anything fashion. I decided not to cover anything home. And that includes a pet section. So here are just a bunch of photos for you to look at of the items that are in the sale, but that I'm not going to go over any reviews, any ingredients that doesn't even make sense to go over ingredients or anything like that. If you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because there is a part two of this video that will be coming very soon and help you edit the other half of your cart. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!